good, YouTube? It's your boy, GB, Mr. Major Man, Mr. 504, Jeezy from the Big Easy here to welcome y'all back to the showroom. Today, I got a sneaker review for y'all. But before I get into it, I'd like y'all to hit that subscribe button, like the channel, share this channel, leave a comment below, hit that notification bell if you haven't already. And if you haven't already, Follow me on all my other social media platforms, which will be linked in the description below. And also, I got to give a shout out to my kick sick who sent me with the major, major assist in this bag right here. Deeply appreciate him. If you ain't subscribed to him, go sub up to his channel. He will be linked in the description below as well. Gang, gang. Shout out to you, kick squad. And man. Y'all just don't know the feeling of having this box right here. And if you recognize it, you recognize it. We got an Iverson Reebok box. And let's go ahead and get into the schematics of it. As you can see, it is the question mid size 11 personal size. Style code is FY1018. Color code is white, white, red. I believe that's it. Yeah, white, white, red. Retail on these was $140. Definitely, definitely gotta give him a major uh, shout out for the assist right here. As you can see, it was a it was a foot action pickup. And let me make sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, white, 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 power red. But yes, that colorway should sound familiar because we've had it released multiple times, and this is a classic for any any Iverson fan and it is the Reebok question mid the red toe the home colorway Iverson's first signature model definitely definitely a clean shoe bro like for real, for real. Like I needed these in the collection bad. Let me go ahead and take the other one out. Man. Like they made sure these were clean, bro. Man. Reebok wasn't playing, bro. Woo. Move that paper over there. Get out of here. Whoo sit you right there bro all right bam the Reebok question mid red so OG AI man let me give y'all a little rundown history of this shoe right here now, if you haven't checked out my other video of the bubble chuck, I kind of gave you a slight story rundown of it. But the Reebok question is Iverson's first signature Reebok shoe with the brand. And it also took a lot of cues because Iverson's favorite Jordan to ball in was the Air Jordan 11 at the time when he was playing for Georgetown. And you, I have highlights of that in the video as well, of him balling out in that, in that tournament. But, uh... You know, by him being signed to Reebok, he was not able to rock any more Jordans. So his line pretty much kind of took subtle cues away to emulate that model for Iverson. And not only that, also uh, he was he also had a shoe with Nike that never got re that got released, but then got recalled because of him signing with Reebok. But uh. Like I said, man, this is just a dope shoe to have. Like I said, Iverson, best two guard in the game. Also, not only that, I'm like, like, man, the king of the crossover, man. He was the one that was literally breaking ankles out there on a nightly basis. Never half ass, never made you feel like you lost your money in a game, bro. And I will say, man, he, like, Jordan may be iconic, but Iverson was influential for the most part because, man, just his demeanor to the game that he brought to the game just made it just made it that much better man mr <laughs> mr practice you want to talk about practice that's who that's who he was man like and i gotta give iverson a prize and i ain't gonna lie there were plenty of days that i was just cursing iverson name especially like against my lakers bro because like 
he literally dropped 48 points on my uh, Lakers in that um in that playoff game, which is probably the game that the Lakers actually had to take and consider him a true threat. But let's go ahead and celebrate Iverson, man, with this shoe. Like I said, let's go at the bottom. As you can see, we have that super, super, super blue translucent bottom on there. Never yellows. Reebok got it right with these, unlike what Jordan Brand has done. I don't know why Jordan Brand hasn't been able to emulate this in some type of way, shape, or form. But as you can see, we got the translucent bottom with the red Reebok logo right there. And also has that Reebok Vector logo on the back of the uh, shoe as well. Also, we're going up to the midsole. As you can see, it's made out of that white, that white TCPU. And also, you can see right here, we got the Hexalite system all in there as well. And like I said, Reebok, as long as the, the direction of Reebok is being ran, how it's being ran, they, I don't think they'll ever get the Hexalite right on here. And we also have a nice leather that is on here as well. Uh, I believe this bottom part is more synthetic than the other ones. I could be wrong, but given how the how thin it is right there, this feels like a synthetic, but the top portions of it definitely do feel more plush and more like actual authentic genuine leather. We have the Reebok Vector logo in red outlined with that navy blue. And we also have the Reebok going down the eyelets of the speed lace system. We also have that red toe done in red you can see there and there was also the red the red toe made in leather the pearlescent leather as well uh this was iverson's first one i think he liked the there was the uh like i said he played more in the uh leather version as well but um it also comes with the striped laces and i'm glad reebok did include the regular white laces because these are the ones i believe iverson wore mostly the pure white laces as opposed to wearing the ones with the stripes uh we also have this net this mesh tongue that leads up to this leather patch with the vector logo on there as well on the medial side we also have the vectors going down the eyelets as well and not only that another vector logo on the side and also on the back we have the reebok question logo on the back for ai and not only that on the inside of the shoe it is all white insole and sock liner with a black reebok logo on there as well and like i said man this is just a dope dope shoe for the most part and i'm not gonna hold y'all to it because i really want to get y'all this dope on feet bro but like i said man iverson just he was he was a game changer in his own right for the game of basketball, man. Like I said, I think he he's the he bought a true stamp for like a true point guard for the most part in the NBA. And like I said, in a, in a league where you were pretty much strict restricted and you couldn't show your personality, like talking about it, like he 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 was the genuine he was a genuine soul in the game, man. Like he made. He made the cornrow braids high. He did all that. I remember they had him on live TV getting his hair rebraided by his mama. Like you, like that—that's unheard of, bro. Like Iverson was a game changer. I don't care what nobody say, man. He will forever be one of the greatest guards in the, in the league for real, bro. But uh, let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel about these. And as always, I deeply appreciate y'all, man, for tuning in. Stay tuned, got some more videos coming up. And as always, stay true, stay fly, stay blessed. I am JC Baby, and we're in the showroom, and I am out. You did. I was mean with these on, because I was making my way. I was trying. I was trying to be somebody. And I end up having this ring. Like, I end up getting this ring. I'm a Hall of Famer, man. You know what I mean? Like, damn. Like, all that hard I had to go through in my life and it started right here. <laughs>